Hello, boys and girls. We are back with Beltless Factorio. Uh, right where we left off, or at least where I left off. Um, we are still emptying out here this uh, this plastic plant. And last time we did a few optimizations. Um, also noticed that not everything is as smooth as it should be uh, and we actually wanted to make the first step towards yellow science which we did not manage so uh, I think let's give it a try again today and for that I will head over to where shall we head to I think to here up here would be a good place and instead of a normal square we will lay out um, basically the size of a quadruple stair but without the rails on the inside um, and that basically means the the sides, the lengths of the rail stair are way longer so that we can have uh, the chain signals and then a normal signal uh, behind that without blocking any crossings. So let me find my car first. Uh, over there it is and then I will place in this massive square of rails now that we have this enormous setup with some additional signals here on each side left right and uh, top not the bottom because bottom is still the old setup with the roundabouts in the middle so cannot change it there yet on these sides we can so probably we will need a bit of a different setup for our factory here and what i was thinking is we can have the entrance here which means we will change that to this signal and then on the other side we can have the exit and then from here we basically can have this three way have one line here at the top one in the middle and one down and what we want to do first uh, is I think low density structures because low density structures from the ingredients we have everything but we probably do not have enough so this would then be a good point to ramp up our production so we can actually uh, feed everything in here so we would come in from the right and exit on the left so now let's see where we have a factory uh, something like this yep that will do and Let's 
copy that here. And then here on this side, of course, we will have the same setup. One branch going down, one straight and one up. And there we need to figure out one more then curve. And this way and then here, this one will probably be the middle. Now the question is, That does not work. We have to get everything a bit further back and then have this here. And then basically have the third set below that. And Now we have a bit more uh, space in here, so theoretically we could even uh, move these two lines closer. Oh, that would not work because that would bring this to the here and here and we would not have space for signals but we could go up one even more and get the space because that would allow us instead of directly uh, getting out of here uh, to have some kind of uh, moving about so that we once again can fit in more than two factories to assemblers um, uh, for what we need. However, with this setup, we are going from a two um, setup to a three setup. However, we are requiring uh, four times the space. So There we go. And there. And there. And there. And there. Right. That now connects as well. And then here we would go that way. And we need that piece. Ooh, and we are not properly aligned. Okay, that's not that big of a problem, but let's let's fix that. And let let me place in all the the remaining factories, uh, set up the the recipes, and then we can see how to proceed. Everything here is in place and set up and I have 
three trains for the delivery. So let's see how we do this. First, we want to have copper plates, um, which means we have waiting copper pickup and then copper pickup. Copper loading. Then we have plastics. Do we have a waiting station for plastic? We don't. So we will add a, a waiting station for that as well. And then we have steel. For steel we do have a waiting station. Um, waiting steel plate pickup and then steel plate loading and then low density delivery uh, here we have empty cargo or inactivity of two minutes then we go to train fueling <clears throat> now if we have copper plates 2000 that means we would then need plastic 500 and waiting uh, and here steel that would be then 200 is that correct we have 10 times more copper than steel and a fifth of the copper uh, in plastic. So let's copy that over to these trains. And send them on their way. And then we shall probably we need let's make plastic waiting here plastic And a train limit of four. Update all the trains that we have there. And then uh, we shall observe which stations need or which factories we need more of uh, to keep up with uh, with the demand and where we um, tend to need more train for the existing number of stations um, so waiting plastic and waiting plastic goes before pickup plastic right and let's do that for the other two trains as well. Looking at this from this perspective gives you a pretty good idea where you stand. And I did add another steel smelting down here. And now 
we actually have some steel stations that are open for pickup. And uh, in the meantime, up here, we had some deliveries. And I think um, over here, we would soon be ready to pick up the, the light uh, low density structures because it's basically set at 300 because they only stack to, uh, to 10. But if we look uh, at this, low density structures, that's actually the thing we need most for the yellow signs. So currently only two sets of these factory is uh, working and maybe we need another set of these, but let's put that a bit on the, on the back burner and maybe next time we can work on uh, our way to get those um, uh, flying robo frames, which is a multi-step process as we need electric motors, we need batteries and uh, all that stuff. So hope you enjoyed this episode and join me next time for a more beltless factory. Until then, goodbye.